Hey everyone, it's Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. So the other day I got a DM on my Twitter from somebody and it was relating to a blog post that I did probably about two years ago and it was all about flying while plus size. So this person kind of sent me a question and I figured that this would be something great to start on YouTube. Kind of like if you have a problem or questions or you want some advice, you can ask me. So I did ask this lady if I could, you know, make this into a video and she agreed. She thought it was a great idea. So that's what I'm doing. So I'll have my email address down below if you guys want to send me, you know, questions or if you kind of have a situation going on and you want some feedback, you know, another person's perspective, you can send it to me. And if you don't mind having it read on camera, then yeah, you don't have to use your name or anything. I can just make up a name, you know, whatever. Or if you do want me to use your name, that's fine. Just to let me know in the email, but I will have my email address down below in the bottom bar. So if you do want to have like my opinion on things, you can get it and you can be in a video. All right, so hi Courtney. My name is Sarah and I found you via your blog about flying while plus size. I'm plus size and flying in two months. I'm super nervous I won't fit in the seat belt. I'm too shy to ask for an extender. What can I do? Thanks ahead of time, Sarah. So first off, hi Sarah, thank you for finding my blog. I really appreciate it. Um, the best advice that I can give you is I have been there, I know exactly how you feel. Many other people, both men and women, they face the same thing too. They get so nervous. You know, if you're bigger and you're going on a plane, you know those seats are small and then they have that dreaded seat belt that just really isn't made for bigger people, you know, it can sometimes be a little bit worrisome. So my biggest piece of advice for you is to not worry about the seatbelt extender. If you need one, you need one. Trust me, these flight attendants, they have been there, done it, they've seen it all. It's not going to be some big deal for them. Um, when I was flying, I made myself so sick and so nervous that I was going to need one. And I finally just got up the courage that when I got onto the plane and was boarding, as soon as I walked, you know, kind of near the flight attendants, I asked them if I could have a seatbelt extender. And they said, sure, that they'd be right over as soon as the plane got loaded. First off, I was kind of like, oh God, you know, like the plane's going to be falling and they're going to come walking around with a seatbelt extender. And that kind of made me nervous, but then I was just like, whatever. You know, most of the other people on the plane, they get their own stuff to do. They don't care. I almost said shit, but then I changed it to stuff. And now I just said shit. And I said shit again. Whatever. So I went down and I went to my seat and I sat down in the seat and I was like, okay, I fit in the seat. That's great. And then I figured just for shits and giggles, I'll try the um, seatbelt. So I pull out the seatbelt and you know, I like I pull it out to the end and everything and I buckle it. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. You know, it's just like this huge like sigh of relief that the seatbelt fit and I was so excited. Like you have no idea. So I kind of felt like an ass after because the flight attendant comes walking down the seatbelt extender and I'm like, nope, I'm good. It's all set. We're all set, you know, but they were completely fine with it. And at the end of the day, it wasn't that big of a deal. And to this day, like if I had to fly again and let's say like I needed a seatbelt extender, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, there are much bigger fish to fry than a seatbelt extender. I would highly recommend that if you think you need one or if you get into the plane and it just doesn't fit, definitely ask for one. Don't go without one. Don't try and hide it or whatever. Um, don't go and buy your own because most airlines, they're not going to accept that because they want to make sure that they are FAA regulated. So, you know, use the ones that they have. Um, you can always call your airline ahead of time and ask about that whole thing so you kind of know beforehand. I would really recommend that if it's like your first time flying and you're not quite sure, contact them and ask them and find out, you know, what you need to do. Every airline is different. Like with mine, I flew on United and all I had to do was ask the flight attendant as I was boarding because they had some um, seatbelt extenders on the plane. So honestly, Sarah, don't let this, you know, ruin your trip or wherever you're going, whatever you're doing, don't let this get in the way. It's really not a big deal. Trust me. I know it seems like the most embarrassing, humiliating thing ever, but it's really not. So I hope you guys do enjoy this little series that I'm going to do. I will have my email address down below in the bottom bar. Feel free to send me an email if you have a problem or something that you're going through or you want advice about something. Go ahead and send me an email and you just might end up in a video. Again, if you don't want me to use your real name or whatever, just tell me that in the email so I know. Um, kind of keep it short and concise, get straight to the point. 
nothing too long because I will be reading these on camera so we don't want to be here for 20 minutes but just get to the point give me the information and you'll get my response and also please know that my response will be raw and it will be for me so if you can't handle hearing the truth from somebody else I wouldn't recommend doing this but if you do just want like another person's view you can have it. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, I will see you later. Bye.